so I watched westerns, or what actually got me into um, martial art films, because John Ford led me to Kurosawa, Kurosawa led me to The Seven Samurai, which was The Magnificent Seven, and so there's a lot of crossover for me, and then I just got hooked. But when I first, uh, I, I was in, uh, I lived in Okinawa, Japan. My dad was in charge of handing, handing the Navy base back to the Japanese in 1970-71. He was the commander of the base, and uh, so my first, uh, my first hero was a guy named Hiroshi Fujioka-san, um, who was, uh, who was uh, um, the mass rider. Kamen Rider, and uh, I had a Kamen Rider doll, and uh, I was really into, uh, right, right now in my house I still have my koi pond, and I still have my bonsai trees that I do all the trimming for on my bonsai trees myself, so I had a huge Japanese influence back then. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I got first introduced to it through film, and but, but also as a child living in Japan, living in Okinawa, um, and then I got, I came out here started training um, just to look good in films, to, to know what I was doing. And it, film fighting is completely different than real martial arts because real martial arts, you know, if you want to be more precise and everything. In film fighting, you want to, you want to have, you want to, you want to throw it. You want everybody to see it because if you throw a punch in, in uh, films and and it's uh, they don't see it, it doesn't matter how good it was. So you want everything is wide. And, different so it's completely different so you learn to train one way and then you have to fight a different way from when you're fighting on camera because it's a camera angle and they need to see the punch come from one angle to the other hit the face so the face can you know rock it and you have to it's really when you look best when you look best in films fighting is when the stunt guy is a real martial artist because they know how to take punches and hits and the ones that have been really hit before they're really good because they'll, they'll really They'll really go for it, and that's what makes you look better in films. But if you don't train for it, you're gonna look kind of silly fighting against them because they're, you know, they're professional. So, I mean, I've had different martial arts films that I've gotten to do, and I've worked with amazing martial artists. And I had one where I, um, I, I worked with uh, a whole bunch of them in the Mask of the Ninja, and and they were just all wearing helmets, and I had to fight them, and I had to punch one guy in a helmet, and, and then they got me down on the ground, and they were all throwing kicks, and some of them I fought with before, so they were really kicking me hard. Um, I just remember that scene, there were seven of them, and uh, I would have been beaten up by any one of them, singly, um, but all seven of them had the opportunity to fight me, and we had a choreographed, like, dance, but in the end, it was just a, you know, they're all in, I'm in this movie with ninjas, and, and, uh, and these guys probably could have been real ninjas anyhow, but they were, they, uh, they had helmets on, because they were a more recycle gang, and, and it was really an intense fight sequence for me, so I, I just enjoyed it. Well, I, you know, that was a, uh, that one was a few years ago, Brent Bradford May, an ex and director, he, he shot it, and just, you know, I don't know how long the shoot was, probably like six weeks, something like that. What's your next project? Yes, guy with the camera over there. Um, my next project, I, I have Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 3 coming out soon. I'm right now I'm on Con Man Series 2, I don't know if you guys know Con, yeah, you know Con Man, so I'm with Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk, I just had my last scene with Alan Tudyk uh, less than a week ago, um, but it's Season 2, I'm the bartender in that one, you know, you've never seen Con Man, you haven't seen Con Man Series, you got all excited and you haven't even seen the first one, <laughs> wait a minute, you just seen clips of it, I'm really awesome in it. That's just modestly speaking, you know, humbly me, um, amazing. I'm not the star of it, but I should have been. So they brought me back for season two with a much bigger part. Less episodes, but a bigger part. <laughs> what kind of training did I have for Sleepy Hollow? Okay, I worked with Ray Park, and I fought Ray Park in that one. And he, at the time, had shown me, um, he was, uh, he had shown me a clip from a little movie that he just finished and asked me if he should get an agent. In that film, he showed me the clip of the fight sequence of him as Darth Maul. And he's an amazing fighter. Uh, Ray Park and I have done a couple projects together. He's in, uh, he's actually in, uh, I'm not even supposed to say this, but I'm going to because it's a martial arts community and I don't care because it hasn't come out yet. But in Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 3, he's in that as well. So he and I both are in that. It's another character. I'm not going to tell what character it is. But I play Johnny Cage again. I'm the only white guy in it, pretty much. What? It's 
typecasting? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's a, he's a, he's a, um, a B-movie, D-list movie actor who can't get a job. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Well, the Striker, the Striker was in that too, yeah. We, we were, that was in season two. But, you know, it was good, it was good to say you got caged. Actually, the girl said it, and I'm like, hey, that's my line! Was that a yawn? No. Uh, oh. Any other questions? Oh, what has been my favorite role? Well, I love Johnny. I love Johnny Rico. Uh, Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. <laughs> you know what to do. Um, it's one that everybody quotes all the time on Twitter. If that movie comes out, I'll get a lot, a lot more quotes on it. So it's a, it's a lot of fun to do that movie. Uh, just ridiculous. I actually just saw Paul Verhoeven, who directed Starship Troopers. He also directed RoboCop. Showgirls, Basic Instinct, um, Total Recall. I just saw him in uh, Holland. I was just over there, and it was just a thrill for me to see that. But it's one of the biggest. Uh, it's, a sh it's short for some reason. There we go. There we go. He's, he's just as tall as me. Um, let's see. Uh, Paul Verhoeven directed that movie, and I just saw him, and it was a blast to see him. So that movie is probably the best one. But when I was Tarzan, I was the 20th Tarzan, and I'm the third shortest Tarzan. Um, but it was fun to be that role too. I love, I love that. I, I'm the only Tarzan to shoot all in Africa and to actually ride an African elephant because they're super dangerous, and I probably was the only one stupid enough to get up on that elephant. Um, and then uh, Sleepy Hollow I love because I got to work with Johnny Depp and Tim Burton, and Christina Ricci, and, and Michael Gambon, and Miranda Richardson, and just a huge, just Christopher Walken. I didn't get to really work with him, but I saw him in the hallway. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. I, and, and when I fought, I fought Ray Park, who was playing his Christopher Walken's part. So Christopher Walken wasn't in there when the head wasn't there. He's like, he only comes in for head acting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. That was it. Con Man's an interesting concept. I don't know if he, I mean, he's, 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 he liked it, but it's all by the people that did Firefly and Serenity, Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk. They got that entire series funded by the fans. So 45,000 fans put in 3.3 .3 million for a TV series, and they got it. And it, and it was so successful that they did a season two that we just finished and we'll be down, I'll be in Hall H at Comic-Con this year with them. So, it's pretty exciting. Peter Rice Burroughs is the one who originally wrote Tarzan in 1912. They gave me an award for my Tarzan being closest to the book. The portrayal of Tarzan, not the movie. The movie was not a success. <laughs> hey, you know I was in it. I just saw it today, I saw um, Superman Lives, the documentary, I'm in it. And they had this, this, this poster of Tarzan and, and all these movies that had bombed for Warner Brothers, and mine was up there. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in Superman Lives, though, the documentary. So, that's pretty cool. Even though it's... I love you. Yeah, I, thank you. You still love me? Yes. My mom thanks you. She really does. And that's it. I think that's it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Come see me by my booth. I appreciate it. My mom loves you. I'm just saying, she does. And thanks for coming out and supporting. This is, this is a worthy charity. This is a good event, and it's a worth, worthy cause. So thank you, guys.